Hi, it's Kerry. Today I'm looking at some of the biggest dinosaurs and prehistoric animals. I'm going more by weight and choosing dinosaur facts that scientists agree upon. Can you tell me if Quetzalcoatlus was the size of an eagle, a small plane or a jumbo jet? Press the bell button to get notifications about new videos. There's a fun ending today. First of all, we've got the biggest herbivore, Argentinosaurus, weighing in at about 100 tons. Although paleontologists claim to have identified bigger dinosaurs, Argentinosaurus is the largest whose size has been backed up by convincing evidence. This gigantic titanosaur was named after Argentina, where its remains were discovered in 1986. It measured about 120 feet from head to tail and may have weighed almost 100 tons. Just one vertebrae of Argentinosaurus is over 4 feet or 1.2 meters. This is Triceratops, who used to be the biggest ceratopsian. Titanoceratops, the titanic horn face, has now been recently identified from an existing species of Centrosaurus on display at the Oklahoma Museum of Natural History. If its genus designation holds up, Titanoceratops will slightly outclass the largest species of Triceratops. Fully grown individuals would measure 25 feet from head to tail and weigh more than 5 tons. I'm giving my vote to Triceratops for now. Remember I'm making my decisions on the weight of the dinosaur. Tyrannosaurus Rex was once considered and often assumed to be the world's biggest carnivorous dinosaur. It has since been surpassed in the rankings by Spinosaurus from Africa and Giganotosaurus from South America. Thankfully though, North America can still lay claim to the world's biggest Tyrannosaur, a category that also includes not quite T-Rex sized predators like Tarbosaurus and Albertosaurus. Although other theropods rivaled or exceeded Tyrannosaurus rex in size, it is still among the largest known land predators and is estimated to have exerted the largest bite force among all terrestrial animals. The biggest pterosaur is Quetzalcoatlus with a 35 foot wingspan. When measuring the size of pterosaurs, it's not weight that counts, but wingspan. The late Cretaceous Quetzalcoatlus couldn't have weighed more than 500 pounds, but it was the size of a small airplane and presumably capable of gliding long distances on its massive wings. It may have been able to stalk its prey on two legs as well, like a terrestrial theropod. Biggest mimic bird dinosaur, Dinocarus, around six tons. It took a long time for Dinocarus, the terrible hand, to be correctly identified by paleontologists. The huge forelimbs of this feathered theropod were discovered in Mongolia in 1970, and it wasn't until 2014 that the Dinocarus was conclusively pegged as an ornithomimid or bird mimic dinosaur. At least three or four times the size of the North American Gallimimus and Ornithomimus. The six ton Dinocarus was a herbivore, wielding its massive clawed front hands like a pair of Cretaceous scythes. The biggest carnivorous dinosaur is Spinosaurus, 
at around 10 tons. It is now believed that Spinosaurus, which had a huge crocodile-like snout and a sail of skin sprouting from its back, was slightly heavier, weighing as much as 10 tons. And not only was Spinosaurus big, but it was agile as well. Recent evidence points to it being the first identified swimming dinosaur. Some scientists seem to think that this award should go to the South American Giganotosaurus, and that could be the case. Spinosaurus is thought to have survived mainly on fish, including giant coelacanths, sawfish, large lungfish and sharks, which lived in the dinosaur's river system. It would also lie submerged in the water and ambush its prey with its long sharp crocodilian jaws, dragging prey under the water to drown. The biggest plesiosaur is a Lasmosaurus. It belongs to a marine family with long necks, slender trunks and streamlined flippers. This streamlined undersea predator measured about 45 feet from head to tail and weighed a relatively petite 2 or 3 tons and it preyed not only on comparably sized marine reptiles but smaller fish and squids. The biggest pliosaur would be Kronosaurus at 7 tons. Kronosaurus was named after the mythical Greek god Kronos, who ate his own children. This fearsome pliosaur, from a family of marine reptiles characterised by their squat torsos, thick heads perched on short necks and long ungainly flippers, ruled the seas of the Middle Cretaceous period. They ate things like fish, sharks and other marine reptiles that happened to cross their path. The biggest Mosasaur would be Mosasaurus at 15 tons. By the end of the Cretaceous period, 65 million years ago, Ichthyosaurs, Pleiosaurs and Plesiosaurs were either extinct or becoming extinct. Now the world's oceans were dominated by Mosasaurs, fierce streamlined marine reptiles that ate anything and everything and at 50 feet long and 15 tons, Mosasaurus was the biggest fiercest Mosasaur of them all. The biggest crocodile was Sarcosuchus, weighing around 15 tons. I call it Super Croc. The 40 foot long Sarcosuchus weighed as much as 15 tons and was at least twice as long and 10 times as heavy as the biggest crocodiles alive today. Despite its enormous size though, Sarcosuchus appears to have led a typically crocodilian lifestyle, lurking in the African rivers of the Middle Cretaceous period and ambushing prey that passed by. The biggest dinosaur bird or dino bird is Gigantoraptor. Gigantoraptor is not a raptor, it is a breed of theropod known as an oviraptorsaur, named after the breed oviraptor. This Central Asian dino bird was over twice the size of Utahraptor. One thing we don't know yet is whether Gigantoraptor was a carnivore or a herbivore. Gigantoraptor had a long skull with a horny toothless beak. It had long hind legs and large claws and would have been fast enough to outrun most predators. Its feathers were for display. It was 8 metres or 25 feet long. The 
the biggest raptor is Utah Raptor, weighing around 1,500 pounds. Ever since its starring role in Jurassic Park, Velociraptor gets all the notice, but this chicken-sized carnivore was positively tiny next to Utah Raptor, which weighed in at about 1,500 pounds and was a full 20 feet long. Oddly, Utah Raptor lived tens of millions of years before the more famous Velociraptor. A reversal of the general evolutionary rule that tiny evolves into plus-sized descendants. Well, that was fun. So all my decisions were made more by weight than by length. Let me know if I've missed out a dinosaur or marine reptile or any other creature that should be here from prehistoric times. Don't forget the fun ending. for watching my video it really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit see you again soon